The next flight of Ariane 5 is dedicated to Galileo mission. So we will place four more satellites in one plane of the three operational planes. So the first phase of the flight is a standard one with the EAP and EPC. So the launcher will be followed by a ground station located in Guyana for the first phase. Then we have a boat in the Atlantic Ocean. Then we have a station in the Azores. And for the rest of the mission, we, after the Azores, we have Minurcia's ground station, which follows the second boost of EPS and the separation of the Galileo's satellites. So the sequence is uh, as usual for the EAP and EPC flight. Then we have the, the first boost of EPS, which lasts about 11 minutes. Uh, after this uh, boost, we have about three hours of ballistic phase in order to reach the altitude required for the Galileo satellites. We have the second boost of EPS, which lasts about six minutes in order to circularize the orbit around the Earth. And shortly after the, the cutoff of the second boost of EPS, we have the separation of the first two satellites. After the first separation, we have to wait 20 minutes before the second separation, during which the two last satellites are separated in order to avoid any risk of collision. Then the EPS is left on the graveyard orbit, and that's the end of the mission for N5.